Hey, welcome back. Today's lesson, you might consider ASL 201. We're gonna take a little step up. It's gonna make you a much better signer, all right? Today we're talking about action verbs. Action verbs can be signed multiple times, meaning the sign itself is repeated. And what does that indicate? It shows you that the action is happening again and again and again on an ongoing, regular, consistent basis. All right, easiest way to explain this is, of course, by signing. Here we go. Here's the first one. Two boys, two boys, two boys. This is the sign for fight, okay? So how would you have said that? How would you have understood that if somebody was signing to you? Those two boys got into a fight. Now, what does this sentence mean? Now, how would you have said that or understood that? Those two boys are getting into a fight every hour, every day, every week. All right? It's happening again and again and again and again. All right, let me give you another example. Okay? How about this one? Team. I want you to understand the signs before you understand the principle. Team. His, so his team lost. That's probably a new sign for you. I'm taking a hand like this, non-dominant, like a five hand, right here like this, classifier, like a V person, lost. This person falls to the ground, lost. Okay, so here's the sentence. His team lost. Now, it's an action verb. I want to repeat it. Now what happens? Okay, his team continues to lose, loses all the time. His team is on a losing streak. You would not have appropriately thought or said, his team lost, 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 lost. You would have been wrong, okay? That's not how to understand it or how you would have translated it. So let's talk about action verbs. And now we're going to introduce a new principle here called a facial adverb. That's why I'm calling this an ASL 201 class. Hang with me. At the end of this lesson, you're going to really understand a lot more when people are signing to you by understanding action verbs and facial adverbs. Let's move on to adverbs. Okay, so we said facial adverbs. This is what does the movement of your face, how does it modify the verb? Okay, so a facial ad. Let's go back to our example sentences. Okay, two boys fought. Let's make it a repeated. Okay. This face is tight. It is showing effort. It is showing an attempt. It is showing deliberateness. Okay, that's a facial adverb, all right? Now I'm gonna modify it a little bit. What if I said, okay, is the fight as serious? No, kind of foolish, kind of careless. So a foolish, careless adverb facial move. That's what I showed you, okay? No big deal, they get in a fight all the time, they're not injuring each other. First sentence, Okay, that's an intense, active, deliberate, watch out, they're going to get hurt. All right, let's try another one, okay? We're going to go back to the guy whose team lost, okay? I did it once. Heads off to the side. Eh. Okay, here we go. Close games. They tried their best. It was tight. It was close. Down to the wire. How about this one? They were careless. They weren't in the game. They didn't try. It was a waste of time. That second facial adverb, carelessness, okay, foolishness, not effort. The first one, all right, let's do it again. Team, his... See the face, eyes, 
crunched up, see the shoulders pop it? It's deliberate. There was effort. They tried. Okay, so what now? We're going to use some vocabulary lessons to practice active verbs as well as facial adverbs. And let's see if you can get the hang of it, okay, by introducing some new vocabulary for you. Okay, let's get you some old vocabulary first. Deaf, which you should know. Deaf, church, I go or attend. Okay? And when I go there, I like to chat. Let's put that sentence together for you. Okay? Now I just repeated it. So, singular, deaf, church, go, I'm having a discussion. Now, let's use that facial adverb, okay? Deaf church, see I came back, I'm repeating the sign, oh, I'm having a good time. I'm enjoying myself, I love going to church because I get a chance to talk and chat and just have a great time catching up with old friends. All right, sentence. I like to go, I go often, I chat for a long time, and it's very, very pleasurable. So the facial adverb was pleasure, ease, fun, to go with it, right? Let's try another sentence, okay? I buy, okay, this is to purchase, buy food for our journey, trip, okay? I am buying food for our trip, okay? See if you can distinguish the facial adverb here. How much food did that individual buy? Were they excessive? Did they buy anything? Let's try the same sentence and just modifying the facial adverb, okay? Carelessness, thoughtlessness, I'm not concerned. That purchase was, I bought everything. I don't care how much it costs. I'm going on this vacation. I bought a ton of food. So there's the difference using a repeated verb as well as the facial adverb. All right? Let me give you some more examples. I want to make sure you're getting this because this is really going to be important to your progress as an ASL signer. Okay, another example. All right. Hard, hard. Hands like this, slightly apart the fingers, they come down once. Hard. Hard, understand his finger spelling. Okay. It's hard to understand his finger spelling. Now, if I sign this, When I circle this, I repeat it. This means every time I see him, any finger spells, here's the action. And instead of before, we talked about fight or lose, right? This is a circular motion, meaning this goes again and again and again and again and again. Okay. I pay attention to it. You see the facial adverb? I pay attention to it. I'm watching. I'm trying to understand. Now, what if his finger spelling is just sloppy, all right? You see the face? His finger spelling is sloppy. Remember back to the earlier example about the team? The team that lost, they didn't care, they were careless, thoughtless. That facial adverb is what made that work, right? As opposed to, right, shoulders up. Face looks intense. I tried to read his finger spelling, but man, it was tough. All right, you're seeing this interaction of facial adverb and action verbs. One more example, all right? Doctor, okay, like medical, feeling for the pulse in your wrist, okay? At the doctor's office, I waited. So at the doctor's office, I waited. Okay, now let's do two things separately. To wait, 
to wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. Like you do that in a line, at a store, at a school, at employment, at a doctor's office. Okay, a doctor's office, if you want to sign the full thing for office. Doctor, right? At the doctor, I waited and waited and waited. See that's continuing? Okay? Doctor, I waited. So that's what it means to do something on an ongoing, regular, long-term basis. Wait, same, okay? Those are ongoing, regular, continual signs. I, I hope this has helped you, because I'm sure you've run into some deaf people who have signed things, and when they repeat the sign, you're trying to figure out, what does that mean? So hopefully now, you've got a sense of action verbs, when they're repeated or regular, and facial adverbs that modify that verb. All right? Welcome to ASL 201. Thanks for being here.